42, 18 and 6. Remember these three magic numbers because these are the numbers which are going to separate you from the huge crowd that is preparing for INICT. Because INICT is scheduled for November 9. The upcoming 66 days are what's going to decide your rank, your dream and your future. Keep one thing in mind, nobody remembers how hard you studied during the entire year. The only thing they'll remember is how did you perform during the final exam day. And you need to run the last lap of the race the hardest. Even though you are behind the others in the race, it's the last lap which is going to decide who finishes early. Now let's talk about the INICT pattern before we go in depth in the strategy. See, there are 200 questions, 180 minutes and it will be divided in 4 time bound slots. That is of 50 MCQs of 45 minutes each. Once you finish this 45 minute slot, you cannot come back. So you need to start preparing to solve 50 MCQs in 45 minutes. And I have already made a video on what type of questions can be asked in INICT. So please check the description box for the video link. See the INICT type of questions don't just test your memory. They test your in-depth knowledge of the topic. Like for an example, in every alternate exam, there will be a question on Strasbourg classification. The last time he had given you a question like in a sentence form, that is if a lateral injury to common hepatic duct is what type of Strasbourg classification. And while solving the MCQ module, you saw that this was question was asked in the previous year. So let's, you know, memorize this. So you memorize that and you got to know that lateral injury to C CHD is type D. And the next time what he does, he just gives you an image and asks you what type of Strasbourg classification is this. Now you are in a dilemma because you just went through an MCQ which was asked in the pre previous INICET. You didn't go through the topic in depth. You didn't try to understand how the bile duct injury happens and what are the different types. So this is what I want, want you to do. Not just focus on the previous year questions. I want you to focus on the previous year topics and go in depth because questions can be framed in any way. The topics might, will be the same but the questions will be different. If suppose a last time he had asked a simple image based question, he, this time he can give it in a sequential arrangement manner or multiple correct type or assertion reasoning type. See there is no limit for an, an examiner's imagination. So if you are thorough with the topic, you can answer any kind of question. So that's what I need you to focus in the first 42 days. Now for the in-depth strategy. In the first 42 days, I want you to give a GT every 7 days. So that makes it 6 GTs over the next 42 days. Now there may be two categories of students. First category are those of you who have already prepared for NEET PG, didn't get a good rank in NEET PG 2025 and are attempting this INICET. Those of you who have just con completed the internship and have now started preparing for NEET PG 2026 and want to give INICET as, as a trial. And both the category students can use this strategy. It's going to work for both of them and only those who have understood the concepts better and have gone through the topics in depth are the only ones who are going to get a good rank during this INICT. So buckle up your seat belts, race the last lap in top gear. So your 42 days starts from tomorrow. I want you to give a GT tomorrow and after that I want you to analyze your results and to know more about how to give a GT, what your mindset has to be and how exactly to analyze the GT. You can watch both my videos which I have already uploaded. After giving a GT, you know, let's suppose in 200 questions, you got 70 MCQs wrong. And you have the next six days to make a grand comeback for the next GT. So the first three days after the GT, I want you to focus on the wrong MCQs. Let's suppose you have 70 wrong MCQs and you see them subject wise, which of the subject was your weakest and which was your strongest. Now, I want you to open your notes and go through all those 70 topics from where the MCQs were asked. Read those topic ones and find out why you got that MCQ wrong. If it was a simple recall error, I want you to revise again. Or if it was some serious conceptual error, if you had not understood the concept, I want you to go through that concept again or I want you to understand the concept again. So it's up to you how you strengthen your weak areas. If you want to watch videos again, go for it. Or if you want to read the notes, go for it. So this is what you're going to do in the first three days. You're going to focus on your wrong MCQs and make a list of all those topics and read those topics in depth. This was your plan for the first three days. And for the next three days, focus on the topics which you had gotten right. Let's suppose in this example, you had gotten 130 MCQs right. So I want you to go through all those 130 topics. And while going through your notes, I want you to highlight the topic. Just that's it for your last moment revision. So the strategy remains the same. You need to go through your notes. If you have understood the topic, well and good. 
if you have gotten the mcq right by guessing then i want you to rectify that mistake so you don't repeat that in the ne next gt so yeah your mindset while preparing has to be that my next gt has to be better than this so you have the next you have six days to prepare right and every day before you go to bed i want you to practice at least two custom modules select at least four to five subjects and select the tag of inict exam and solve two custom modules of 50 mcqs each with a timer of 45 minutes so i want you to be pre mentally prepared for that 50 questions 45 minutes slot and if you're going to do this daily for the next 66 days believe me you will ha really have an upper hand compared to even those who have been studying for the past one year practice at least two custom modules daily you are going through the topics daily so you your mind will love this grind and once when you give a gt on the eighth day believe me it will be better than your first gt not so great improvement it can be i think just two or three mcqs right but it will definitely be better and remember one thing do not focus on the marks yet if it's even 100 mcqs right if it's even 80 mcqs right it's okay for the first 42 days, I want you to focus on the topics and not the GT marks because you're learning the pattern. You're learning how to train your mindset to be ready for the INICT, right? For the first 42 days, this is what you're going to do. You're going to feed your brain information for the first 42 days and you're going to train your brain to get used to that 50 questions, 45 minutes slot. By the end of 42nd day, you would have finished six GTs and I want you to compare the sixth GT with the first GT and see the progress for yourself. Look at how far you have come from giving the first GT and at your 42nd day. See, that's what I told you, right? It's not about how you have studied during the entire year. Only thing matters is how hard you ran the last lap. And by the time you finish this exercise, you would have gone through a lot of topics. You would have understood something better. You would have, you know, memorized something better. So now, from the 43rd day, you're going to increase your GT frequency to every third day. So from day 43 to day 60, you're going to give six more GTs. That is one every third day. On 43rd day, you're going to give a GT. And now you're going to just have one day each to analyze your wrong MCQ and right MCQ. The next day will be to analyze the wrong MCQ related topics. And the following day will be for right MCQs. And the routine of your custom modules will not change. You're going to give custom modules before you go to bed daily. And these 18 days are when you'll focus on your marks your gt scores by now you should have gotten the hang of the inict pattern and the topics there and the most common topics which are going to be asked and you will be anticipating the kind of questions as well so the next 18 days are to drastically improve your scores so by the end of 60th day you would have given 12 gts and the last six days are most crucial for your preparation these six days are what's going to make or break your rank and, and this is where maximum of you make mistakes you think the last six days are most crucial and you start finding some new sources of information you start reading new topics you start referring to new sources because you have that anxiety ki i have not prepared anything i have just gone through the previous year topics or i have just gone through 12 modules 12 gts and you will have this self-doubt is it enough whatever i have prepared is it he's preparing from some other source let me try what, what's given in that don't do that this is what is going to cost your rank the last six days you're supposed to relax, you're supposed to calm down, make sure you get adequate rest and don't start studying by sacrificing your sleep or anything because your preparation is already done. You've already forged the sword in the last 60 days and these 6 days are just to sharpen your sword and be ready for the battle. And just go through whatever notes, whatever topics you had highlighted during the past 60 days. Just go through that notes, just look at the topic once again, don't solve any GT. Remember, no GTs in the last six days because if by mistake the GT goes wrong, your confidence level will drop drastically down. You'll feel all that 60 days effort is waste. So no GTs during the last six days. What I want to do is I just want you to go through all the topics you had highlighted or all the topics you had made a list of and have a strong photographic memory. Yes, a strong solid photographic memory is what's going to make you have an edge over the others. Because while solving an MCQ, when you get stuck at two options, it's only your photographic memory which is going to clear that confusion. Let me give you an example of Strasbourg classification itself. If you had gone through that image long back, like for 15-20 days back, and during an exam you get confused. Was it Strasbourg A or Strasbourg B? How will you come to the conclusion? It's only your photographic memory which is going to save you in these kind of spots. When you relax a bit, when you close your eyes, your notes is going to come in front of you. 
and you can see you have written whatever you have written was it a or was it b and that's how you can mark the right answer i'm saying this because i have experienced the same that's how i had got my 135 rank from a rank of 122000 it was photographic memory which helped me to choose the right answer when, when i was in a dilemma remember some questions are going to be outliers like some, some random one liners some topic which you never knew of or some rare syndrome kind of question so i want you to ignore those kind of questions and don't waste too much time on it because there are going to be few questions like that as well which are you are supposed to be skipping there are going to be at least 8 to 10 10 questions like that which will be entirely new for you which will not never be covered in any of the lectures you have attended or any of the mcq modules you have attempted be careful of those, of those kind of questions during your exam and you are expected to skip those questions and not attempt them so be careful so the last 6 days are just for quick revision of whatever notes you have made all the volatile topics like tables images important scores and drugs let me give you a scenario it's your exam day you have woken up all fresh you had your breakfast and you have gone to the exam center and you have a couple of friends over there who are you know making their last minute revision you go to them you talk to them like how was your preparation how is it going in? and at that moment your friend asks something hey look at this do you know this table this is a very important table it can be a question was asked on the class time do you know this and you take a look at the table and get this self doubt did i study this what if an exam comes on this table will i be able to answer it and you ask your friend have you studied he says yes it's very important how can you miss it oh now your brain is in chaos you are having all this self doubt ki how did i miss such an important table i didn't study anything i don't know anything and if you enter with this mindset in the exam hall believe me you are not going to get any rank you are not even going to get qualified so what i want you to do is stay away from everyone relax be self confident you have studied for the past 66 days you have gone through all the stop all so many topics you have revised all the topics you have understood the in depth concept of those of those topics and there's no chance you will be missing on any kind of mcq that's going to be asked on the topic you're that confident a tiny moment of doubt can crash all that confidence of yours so this is what most of you guys may make a mistake after the exam you tell me sir you sir even after studying we ended up making silly mistakes we didn't get our expected rank because exam hall is like a battlefield and it doesn't matter if you have practiced every move if you have you know sharpened your sword but if you get scared or if you get that doubt by seeing the overwhelming enemy you're going to be killed in an instant right so i want you to be confident and slash any enemy that comes your way so that's it for today i hope you prepare for this ini cet with full efforts and get that dream rank of yours you can always reach out to me if you have any doubts regarding the INICT please share this video to anyone you know who is preparing for INICT so that he can benefit with this last moment preparation so in in the next video i'll exactly show you how to use photographic memory and how do you revise the notes using something called active recall so that you remember for a long time and don't get stuck in the exam so thank you so much for watching